My name is Christina Perez. My Heart to Hope journey started when my father was diagnosed with cancer and that's when, that's when I really started to see Betsy um, as a patient. And she was there every step of the way. She helped us realize that through this journey, we can grow closer as a family. We can grow, grow closer to God. And once he passed, she helped us realize that we don't have to dwell in this pain and suffering. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is hope after hurt. You can feel the hurt and you can get to the joy. Sometimes it takes a while, but in the book, she definitely leads you that way. It has absolutely made an impact in my life. Um, more specifically, in parts where she feels she cannot go any longer or she thinks that she just can't live this way anymore and she decides to live and she decides to make the best life for herself and her family. Reading that makes me want to live my best life for myself and my family and not dwell in the suffering and in the pain. You can move forward, you can be happy again. That's the biggest takeaway from this book that I've gotten. Hurt to Hope is, is grief but with growth. Uh, hurt to Hope is, is kind of a promise that you're hurting but you can get through it and you'll get through it a stronger and better person for it. For me, my biggest thing with Hurt to Hope was the how. We've heard Betsy's story, we know she's the happiest woman on earth but I wanted to know how I could be the happiest woman on earth. This book tells you how. It gives you the steps. It gives you everything you need to know, how you think, how you reframe. This is the how. So this is your to-do list. Through this book, you will learn how to get there. So my name is Luli B. Carreras, and I know Betsy because she became my client, and then I became hers. Her to Hope is a love story of a mom who was once the grieving mother of a toddler turned blessed woman, mother of an angel. I remember when Betsy started to write this book and she shared with me that she wanted to be about all kinds of loss. And it's pretty crazy that at the time that she was writing the book, I was experiencing loss through divorce. And I got to live the step-by-step -step guide that Betsy provides in this book. I had the incredible honor to be able to be guided by this woman. And now reading this book and knowing that it can change the lives of so many people who have experienced loss in different forms, not just death. Because what I learned even through my divorce is that divorce is grief. Grief doesn't only come in the form of losing a loved one to death. Grief is a divorce, is filing for bankruptcy, is losing a job, is even moving to a different state or having a child leave home to go to college. It's all different stages of our lives and some form of loss. And so for me, this book was a reiteration of what I got to experience firsthand in working with Betsy. This idea that we really can turn our hurt into hope, that we can take our pain and turn it into purpose, and that we can become a better version of ourselves as a result of all of our experiences. You know, one of my, my favorite things that Betsy always says is pain is awesome. And I remember times in my conversations with Betsy when she would say that to me and I didn't like hearing that very much because as someone who prides on herself on being so positive, I don't like experiencing pain. And now I get it because I'm on the other side. I'm on the hope side and I get how powerful pain is. Now, when I'm experiencing heartache or a challenge or an obstacle, I'm like, bring it on, because I know what's on the other side. And it's through what Betsy has taught me and through Hurt to Hope that I've been able to see how powerful it is.
My name is Beowulf. Uh, Betsy is married to Alain, who is uh, my best friend, uh, the godfather of my daughter. And uh, Betsy is also my wife's best friend, Suli. So we are very close. Her to Hope is the lifeline that those that have experienced pain and suffering and despair need in their life. Others need to understand that someone as special as she is, as genuine, as sincere, as loving, as caring, as selfless as she is, lived hell on earth, but at the same rate, came out of it. Where some feel that they're so lost in the world and that nothing can be fixed and there's no light at the end of the tunnel, she's lit that flame. She's given hope. But through her story, through her experience, she's created that. And it's, it's a gift. She's written a gift. It makes you realize that as strong as someone appears to be, we're all fragile inside. And we all go through our emotions. And we all go through our suffering and our pain. And it's our choice to decide whether we want to stay in that or if we want to evolve from that and grow from that.